Hello everyone, I'm Yulia Hapanovic from Kojic team and today we are going to create a simple Hello World app. Traditionally this app is made to demonstrate how to display a piece of text on a screen using different programming languages but in our case we will show you how to do it using our Kojic builder. So let's move to the default page of the user account and what we can see is just a list of existing applications and all also a specific block to create a new app. So let's just press on it. And what we can do now is to put some name for our application. Let's call it Hello World Example Application. And also we have a possibility to use some already generated template but as it is just a simple easy application we don't need anyone and we just select blank app and now we are ready to create our application we just have to wait for some second until it is generated and what we have on the screen is our list again but with our newly generated application. To edit it and develop it, we just press the develop button and it moves us to the, our application editor. Here we can add a page for our application and let's call it a main page and create it. What we see now is a page editor. Here we can fill our page with different components and set some properties for them. To make a Hello World application, we need a text input, which we will call our message. And now after it is on our page, it looks a bit too long, so we can split the column and now it is looking much better. And what we have now is a place for user to input a text. And in our application, there are different ways to access the inputted text. And we can do that this using the actions for our field. And what we need to use is on field change event. As, as soon our user has made an input and changed the text field, we display it on our screen. So let's create a special event block and redirect to the code block editor. Here you can create different functions without using any complicated code. What we have is the blocks of different built-in functions and here we can use log functions to display a text on a screen. The success function is usually used to inform the user and display a message about some successfully uh, done processes. But what we will send to our user is a message from the input field. So we get the value of the input and attach it to our success function and it will display it on the screen. So let's save it. And now we are ready to publish our application. What does this publish function does is just creates it just creates a, the first step of our project with a layout and all components. Then the process of build is performed. Then, as a result, we have on the step one the executable file and then after performing the deployment process, we have a final application in some web container. That is. And now let's check what has been done with our application. As we can see, it is in the process of publishing and we need to wait for some time. And now it is successfully published and we can open it. So this is our main, main page and also a text field we has created. So we can just input hello world in it, press enter and we have a successful message hello world. So we can save and close our application. And that was all for now. I hope everything was clear for you. And now you can experiment on our Kojic Builder on your own.